I want to ask you a question. Who's coaching you? Who's asking you the tough questions? Who's telling you, man, you're the common denominator to all of your issues and challenges? Who's telling you, man, all day long, you become the magnetic pulse that attracts to you both good and bad? I want to be your life coach. I want to be the one that cheers you on to the finish line. I want to be the one that you ask the tough questions. And it doesn't mean that I have all the answers, but that means that you have a partner, someone who believes in you, not the you you see right now, but the you you can't imagine, the you that you are to become, the you you were destined to be. I always say we both need the positive and the negative. It's not enough to have the knowledge of the matter, but we must have the wisdom as well. For well, wisdom settles it. And that's what I want to offer you as you join me on the Coach's Corner. I want to offer you the wisdom of the matter. Maybe it might be relationships, talking about our campaigns for more, for life, the dark room for our subconscious, our spiritual journey, whatever it is, I want to be there to encourage you to build you, to chunk you, to cheer you on to the finish line. I'm qualified to do this. Why? Because I'm you. Well, welcome to another edition of The Coach's Corner. My name is Marcus Silla, and as I approach the microphone, assuredly I have my own personal and professional issues, but I trust that as I step to the microphone, I can bring wisdom, 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 Anybody want wisdom? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. But here it is. Too late now. Wisdom just showed up. And I trust that I can earn the right to speak into your life. As we move forward, we trust that you are sharing our broadcast with a friend. Today we're going to be talking about changing focus and managing moods. Uh, just That's our TFT, Thought for Today. And let me thank all of my speaker followers, my blog talk radio followers, even though they're, I don't think, after 7,025 listens, there's not one blog talk radio follower yet. Or maybe there's one. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We just want what that guy's got. We don't give a crap about him. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of like how I feel about it. But it's all good. You know what I'm saying? You have to give yourself time, be here around 10 years, and then maybe people will give you some kudos i don't know but let's get to it change your focus manage your mood this the coach yeah change your focus manage your mood that's what we don't talk about think about anyway you know, I'm just coming to find out. I was uh, making a personal promise to myself, even though I have to be on, um, I have to be on Facebook. I just made a personal promise to myself, at least as a test, to just get off of Facebook for right now, because I just don't really see other than my fan pages and all. I'm talking about my personal page, and I'm not talking about anything else. But there comes a time in your life when you have to look at what you're doing and say, okay, is this benefiting me? There's a psychology about Facebook that you got to watch out for. Some people have already caught on to it. And I think part of the psychology is that you'll begin to think that because you have 2,100 or 500 or 400 or 5,000 friends, that those people are really for you. They're really going to push you. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Second thing about Facebook that I have to watch Talking about changing our focus and managing our moods, okay? It, you can't pay nobody with a like. If you say something and you get 10 likes, you can't cash that in. I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? Uh, now, I know what the purpose, what my purpose of Facebook is supposed to be about. But I'm just saying, as far as the personal side, I, I can't waste any more time on Facebook. Uh, so if you don't see me on there talking uh, on my personal page, hey, it ain't, I haven't given up on it. It's just that I'm leaving it strictly professional as much as I can. And I'm moving on to other platforms where 
I could be using my time to learn other things. But we can't pay bills with likes. You see what I'm saying? We can't we can't rely on those so called friends. You see what I'm saying? To be able to get us from point A to point B. Now some of y'all now wait, 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 let me take that back. But some of y'all are good with that kind of stuff. Uh, maybe it's just me. It just probably it's probably just yeah, probably just me. Because some of y'all, y'all got all kind of kudo friends, y'all running the best groups. Y'all just having all kinds of fun. I'm stuck on the microphone. You know what I'm saying? Giving people wisdom for when they screw up in life, right? While you out there getting it done, your notoriety, your, you know, something, you know, I mean, you could just tell, you know, I probably just don't. I got to see some financial or some advantageous benefit other than the fact that I'm personally satisfied that I got 10 likes because I said something. <laughs> I'm just saying, that's just me. But, you know, other of you guys can say something and not only can you get the likes, but you can get everything else to go with it. So kudos to you. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we've got a fan page for every show that we have. Uh, so if you want to look up the fan page for this show, The Coach's Corner on SIBN Radio, you're welcome to do so. Now, I do pay attention to those. Uh, I pay attention to the logistics on those. So, But you have to change your focus is the point. Change your focus so that you can, you know, redeem the time. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. Redeem the time. You know, what else can we change our focus about? You know, I was thinking about LinkedIn. I was thinking about LinkedIn. And I have not used LinkedIn regularly. I've used it, but I've not used it regularly. So I said to myself, you know what? I'm going to learn how LinkedIn works. How LinkedIn works. Yeah. I want to meet some professionals. I want to meet some other people who are ready to get some things done on a worldwide scale. You know what I'm saying? So I made a personal commitment. That's what we're talking about, changing focus. We change focus because we looked at certain things that we're doing that don't seem to be yielding a profit for us. Waste Time wasters status holders I don't I'm not interested in being a status holder that's probably why I'm not running in your group (laughs) because you're a status holder I can't hold a status like that you know what I'm saying because I I gotta be out blazing the trail you know and uh, it's not always good to blaze the trail because uh, it takes a while for people to trust the trail that they see in front of them that's been fully blazed you know but, you know, when you're changing your focus, that means you're going to try the things that you normally wouldn't do and the things that you normally would do. You're going to leave alone for a while, you know, and then changing your moods. You know, um, a lot of us struggle, you know, with the emotional issues, but but moods is not necessarily the same as emotions, but mood, moods are more like your psychological state, you know. Uh, no apparent external cause or perhaps an external cause or internal cause but I mean it could be any number of things a decreased energy level you know unwanted body changes your physical dysfunction reduced sex drive you know but but you know managing your moods is part of also changing your focus and it's real difficult you might be trying to break a habit and you really want to break the habit but you just like you know you just don't want to you just don't want to give a a, a a, a crunk, you know what I mean? You don't want to give a care, you know. Even you know, some of y'all religious folks out there like that, y'all just don't want to let nobody know, you know, that you really, you really trying to up, upgrade yourself in a different way. You know, what I mean, you know, you, you get the church thing, you get the Bible, but something seem don't, it just don't seem right, you know. It's, it's your mood. You're trying to manage your mood. Frankly, for myself, I drink a. Got to go back to drinking some tea instead of coffee first thing in the morning. You know, you might could get you some vitamins to help you with your mood. You might could begin to exercise. You know, I went to take a vacation uh, and uh, walked on the beach every morning. My hotel was right there on the ocean, uh, right the beach in the oceans, right there as, as my backdrop for my room. And so I said, well, I'm going to walk every single day. I got up every morning and walked. And I was like, am I out of shape here? What is going? What the heck is going on here? Yes, yes, and yes. Out of shape. No wonder sometimes I'm in a bad mood or, you know, because I'm hurting. I'm 
hang, I'm sore, <laughs> you know. I mean, I've got three desks, three studio production desks, uh, two and a half studio uh, studios, and uh, the production work has it's just over. It's overran me, really, to be honest with you. To be honest. So I'm going to be changing my focus and uh, recycling some stuff that I've already done and uh, get into my writing grooves um, and, uh, you know, things of that nature so that I can upgrade myself. Because uh, I see a few things that I've been doing. It's just not working, not working. Take a small break. Be right back after this. DJ's on it today, you know, he's on it today, but I'm not even going to keep you long and give you a short one a day, TFT, changing your focus, manage your mood, might have more on it later, I don't know, see how I feel, <laughs> you know, that's that's my problem, I'm so serious that, you know, it's, it's just crazy, you know, so I, I want you to understand that changing your focus is very key to making the transition, um, one of the things that I learned is that you can't do anything without a contract. So as you upgrade yourself, write things down, commit people on paper. If they don't want to go on paper, they still got they still got a hidden agenda somewhere. Still playing games. You see what I'm saying? A lot of people playing playing a lot of games. I said it's only one game you play. Play the game of life, know the rules, and play it well. But I mean, all this other stuff. It's just you know it didn't went to the tenth degree here. You know. Um, but as you change your focus, get people to sign on the dotted line. Don't don't play games with people, you know, uh, because it's your livelihood and it's your your psychological state that's at stake, you know. And on your managing your moods, uh, you know, I, I'm reminded I'm reminded of the old days when we used to go to bed early, you know. Uh, we watched a half an hour of TV and that was enough. Now we watch three and four hours. Then we go to bed and turn the TV on again. And I don't know. It's just that we, we got to do a better job at getting ourselves to the finish line of life. And part of that entails watching our intake, you know. And so I don't have a whole lot for you today. I just you know want you to know that we're thinking about you, uh, praying for you, and uh, pulling for you, cheering for you. You know what I'm saying? I uh, do want you to follow us on uh, the respective platforms where we air. If you can, those that are listening, want to listen on the go, you can download um, Shoutcast Radio uh, or WinApp, W-I-N-A-M-P. That's the application on Google Play. Search uh, When you download it, search S-I-B-N Radio by Select USA TV in the station category. And then you're able to uh, listen to us on your cell phone and your tablets and things of that nature. Make sure you add it to your favorites, um, you know, things of that nature. That would help us out a lot if you do that. And then if you want to go to www.415-96radio.com, that would help us too. I got to get ready to get out of here. This is a short one today. Change your focus, manage your mood. This is the coach.